Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Ready, guys, another episode of our Pokemon Infinity Nuzlocke Let's Play. We are back once again, ready to throw down here in Genesis Forest. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to continue this series. I hope you guys are excited too, so show some love. Hit that like button down below and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. Don't forget, we're doing a Nintendo Switch giveaway over on adrivelive.com for free members and plus members get early access to the series. So if you got five bucks laying around, become a plus member, support your boy today and uh, get early access. And I made a change to the team. Oh my goodness. Reptar is going to the bench for now and Swagnamite is added to the team, which I did indicate is gonna be my Palkin trail encounter. Even though he was kind of ecstatic, I feel like it, things get a little gray there, but we're gonna go with that. I think that's fine. And uh, he's got Regenerator, very cool. A couple things about Swagnamite for those who are interested. Swagnamite did win best dressed in high school, which I thought was worth noting. And also loves to wear sunglasses inside. He's just really cool. So he wears shades inside. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. It's really dark in here, by the way. Um, it's actually really dark, Jeez. And uh, last but not least, my dude loves campfires, which is a little strange considering that he's four times a week to fire but other than that you know he's he's got he's got no issues so i wouldn't worry about it so i'll be real i kind of was debating our next encounter technically would be genesis forest i'm gonna hold off we're gonna get our genesis forest encounter later on because i i really don't know what i would even add to the team at this point anyway so i'm gonna get through the forest because i don't think there's anything else i can do here i think like i just have to kind of advance anyway so i'm gonna advance because we're gonna be able to come back to genesis forest later because more parts of the forest are going to open up, right? Like, that just makes sense. So, I'm going to get out of this forest, and we're going to head up to the Palkin Trail, which is where I just was to get the Swagnamite. And I did take on a few trainers in the process, but ultimately, we should be good to go. So, I'll keep you guys posted with what goes down here on Palkin Trail, and we'll work our way to the next town. You tough enough, bub? I feel pretty tough right now. I feel like this team is stacked. I'm not even going to lie. And with some of our new additions of forms, I, I feel like I'm just actually, like, OP right now. Um, I have a question today for you guys. What Pokemon do you want to see get a form the most? Well, this is a regular old Fira. Look at that. Um, I just destroy you though, don't I? Yes, I do. Although a fly move would have tickled. Uh, this Fira is just getting wrecked. What Pokemon form, uh, do you, or what Pokemon do you wish to get a new form? And what would that be? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm still rooting for that, uh, Bug Dragon, personally. I feel like Yanma turning into a Bug Dragon, Yanmega would be really cool. Even the Trap Inch line changing. There's a lot of potential there. I would love to see that. I think there's a couple other bug types that could be really cool with slightly different type changes, but uh, you guys let me know what your thoughts in the comments section below. Just randomly found a Thunderstone chilling right here. Okay. I really need a Water Stone actually for Loco. Can I get one of those? And a Sharp Beak to boost the power of flying type moves. Pretty clutch. And a Light Clay for Reflect and Light Screen, but unfortunately uh, I don't have those, so. I don't know where to go. I got kind of lost, actually. Oh, this is where I go. Got it. And we are in Ridgestone, so oh my god, in the dark. Ridgestone Cemetery. That's a Haunter. I was very confused for a second. I'm like, what is that Pokemon? And I get TM66 Payback. We do have a new encounter here in the cemetery as well. A Ghost Slave could be kind of clutch. There's a Phantom. I'll probably poke around a little bit and see what we find. I'm not necessarily sold on just grabbing the first thing, but I am, however, gonna put Captain Jack in the front. Just because he's a dark type and he should be able to handle any ghost types I run into. And he should be evolving pretty soon. I thought he actually evolved sooner than, than he has. But let's see what we got here. I knew you'd be here. Oh, we got a little psychic battle here. Okay. Okay, let's see what you got, psychic Charles. A Natu. Yeah, we're good. I feel like ever since I got the XP share, like, we've been cruising, dude. And, oh, that actually didn't even... Oh, he's got a Culberberry. I'm like, that didn't even do that much. Miracle Eye, that allows him to hit Psychic moves into Dark types, which actually would be super effective, I think, because I'm a Fighting type as well. So that's something to be very careful of, but I think we're fine. And a Kadabra. I don't know if Miracle Eye continues. I don't know if it's worth the risk. Do I YOLO this? Or do I just go... I'm just gonna go Swagnamite, right? Like, because if Miracle Eye still works on me, that's a problem. Swagnamite. Yeah, Swagnamite's eating that, dude. All right, let's go for... Is Magnet Bomb physical or special? It's physical. All right, then we're gonna Magnet Bomb. Magnet Bomb! Confusion still hurts, though, but we're fine. I think two Magnet Bombs, maybe? Oh, yeah. Another Confusion, but this is really good XP. 
I don't know what level this thing evolves. I, I There's a handful of Pokemon like Magnemite that I just have no clue when they evolve, but it's all good. Captain Jack to 25. I think he evolves here, actually. I think Captain Jack does evolve. He does! We did get the spoilers in the last episode from that trainer, but Captain Jack R matey! Captain Jack, Captain Jackie Spiro, come in. Does not like rock types. Doing big things, learns Night Slash. Oh my goodness. How are you so busted? It's only 70 actually. I think we get rid of, I really haven't used Thief. I've been using Bite because of the flinch chance. I feel like this thing is kind of dope, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I actually really like it. And I'm not a big Fero fan, but this thing is like pretty intense. Still has Defiant, and its attack went up to 61. Really frail though, relatively fast. I guess that's the one downside, it's just super frail. I'm ghost hunting, I hope my net works. My man out here with a bug catcher net, trying to catch some ghosties, Cletus. I don't know about that, buddy. He's got a Venonat, oh man, poor Venonat. Venonat about to get wrecked in that. Hit him with the dark night slash. He actually lives that, and then goes for supersonic. You're actually annoying. You're actually annoying, but we're never getting hit with the lucky duckies out here. Nope, not today. Not today, Captain Jack don't care. Captain, oh I wonder if Captain Jack can fly now. There's a Shininja. Luckily for me, I have the perfect Pokemon for this. Captain Jack, tell me it's Focus Sash. It is a Focus Sash Shininja. That's actually like, holy damage. That did a lot. That is a strong Shininja, my goodness. I feel like people might have issues with that in a Nuzlocke. Like that's a tough Pokemon. I was just about to see if I can learn fly yet because I actually feel like we haven't been able to fly before. I feel like this Fero has got to be able to learn fly, right? It is, okay, so I actually have a flyer now which is pretty clutch. We'll get rid of Peck for fly, which I'd say is worth and we take those. Whoa, look at this Hoot Hoot! Bro, there's a new Hoot Hoot! I kind of dig it. I feel like I need to see what else is here, but this is kind of sick. Bro, I got to think about this. Do I want this or not? All right, I feel like I'm going for this thing. The only thing I will say is like, I do feel like there's a solid chance it ends up being the same typing as like, as basically Captain Jack, right? Like I probably shouldn't have actually just went for a bite there. That was a little risky. Um, I feel like there's just a really high chance this is just a dark type and it's dark flying, and then I just end up with another dark type. But I'm gonna catch it anyway. And all right, we caught it. Let's go. Hoot hoot! Let's see what type it is. I gotta go for it. It's dark and flying, okay. The crest on its head grows brightest when the moon is full, and confuse prey by convincing them that the moon is coming right at the time when it's really just a bird. That's actually kind of sick though. I'm gonna name you Hootsburg, because my daughter is like super into Doc McStuffins right now. And Professor Hootsburg is a character there and she's just loving it, so. I get a creepy feeling from the cave up there. Some call it the Cave of Nightmares. Well, I ain't going there. We got a Revive, not too shabby. Here lies some dirt. Oh, I gotta battle you, okay. There's a lot of trainers here. I'm gonna have to beat up a couple trainers, but I can't imagine they're gonna be too tough, especially if they're just rocking Gastly's. Captain Jack don't care about those. I have been selected by the people of Eco Rock Town, including Howlett, my father and member of the Eco Council, to lead the caravan to the top of the Palkin Heights. We haven't gotten very far yet. The rest of the group wanted to pay their respects before we continued onward. I'd love to battle while I wait for the rest of them, but I'm conserving energy for the rough hike ahead. Something tells me we're gonna have to battle that dude. He seems like he might be tricky. The bones are in the money. I'm kind of trying to read these tombstones. I feel like there might be something hidden here. Here's a TM, Torment. Uh, I feel like 70% of the TMs I've found have been like really bad, but it is what it is, I guess. You a trainer? Yes, this guy is a trainer. Let's battle him. I have a feeling we have some boss battles up ahead though. It's been a while since we kind of ran into a challenge. You got just a Vulpix. Captain Jack don't care about your Vulpix though. Captain Jack says, "Our matey! Get wrecked. Jack, you don't play games. No, she does not. Not a 27, no idea when that thing evolves. There's the Noctowl, so we do get to see the Noctowl. Which actually looks pretty sick. I am actually weak to him. So I should probably be a little more careful than I'm being right now. Yeah, I mean, he's flying in dark, so I think, I think I should just go Nala and just beat it with Nala. I gotta get a Nala to evolve to Horn Attack. He hasn't shown me anything super impressive yet though. I mean, I did just catch this thing, but it looks cool though. 
Professor Hootsburg is a very good name for it, by the way. And what else we got? Swag gets the 26, and here's a Haunter. I do a Bite. It's a female Haunter, too, so you know Nala's ready for the challenge. Gets that rivalry boost. Goodbye. Nice crit, too. We take those. Good stuff. Pretty easy battle so far, but again, I have a good feeling we're going to face a boss pretty soon. Enough coins in the well and the spirit will be summoned. That's the secret right there. That's the secret. That's what it is right there. That's what it is. Okay, I made it to the next area, which is Rolling Ridge, which uh, gives us a new encounter opportunity as well. I get TM88 Pluck, which is kind of dope. And again, the, the game is very much so locked behind many cuts and surfs and things of that nature. But again, I kind of like that. Like, I kind of feel like that's sick that you have to backtrack through. Um, that's a very short route as well because we're already in Eco Rock Town again. Wait, did we just do a big loop to get back to Eco Rock Town? Was that the objective this whole time? I thought I was going somewhere else. Oh, I think I have to challenge this guy. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to challenge the Elder. So let me explore the rest of this town. And then I think we challenge the Elder here for our second kind of like Elder badge thing. So it turns out I can give a heart scale to Swagnamite to give him Leech Seed. I could also get Drill Peck on Jackie, but I feel like I'm gonna use Fly, so I'm gonna pass on that. And then I just wanted to check our good friend Nexus to see if he had any like lower level moves. And Reversal, Karate Chop, Rollout, Stealth Rock. Yo, these are actually good. Stealth Rock's good, but he's so offensive, I feel like it's not worth it, but something to keep in mind that maybe we'll consider that down the road. Oh, I can buy a Water Stone here and a Mining Kit. Yo, this is big, okay. So I'm gonna buy the mining kit, which allows us to mine, and then I'm gonna buy the water stone, which is huge, because now I can get Ludi Loco. Loco can finally evolve. I was the one that gave you the free sample of Arcanium. I specialize in turning Apricorns into Pokeballs. Oh, nice, we have picked up some Apricorns. Kind of forgot about those. Here's some blue ones. He's gonna finish by tomorrow, so that's kind of annoying, but that's okay. I personally feel like there's no reason to wait. I'm evolving Loco right now, and Loco is having a feast of quesadillas right here, right now. Let him know, Looney Loco, let him know. Yeah, baby. Gotta do it, gotta do it. Let's get it. Looney Loco, baby. Ready to go. Okay, let's see if he can learn any good moves now. Oh, I just bought a mining kit, and then I found another one. That's kind of annoying. And here we are in Eco Drop Cave. Oh, this is interesting. I trained in the way of the elemental fist. Would you like your Pokemon to take a lesson? Oh, that's kind of dope. Okay, let's think about this. Ice Punch, maybe? So Loco can learn Ice Punch? I wonder if it would be worth teaching Thunder. I feel like you just teach Loco Ice Punch right now because he just doesn't have like super good moves. So I feel like, yeah, let's just give him Ice Punch. I know he's like definitely a special attacker, but for now, just getting any good move on him is fine because realistically, like Thunder Punch on Charmeleon would be the next best thing. Have I come to battle? We're already training. I get a muscle band in here, which increases physical attacks. Oh, I gotta fight you. Okay, let's see what you have. I gotta be careful though, because I do have a, fight, uh, a dark type in the front. It's a throw, level 22 throw. Um, What's my best play here? Tell me how my team is like not good against uh, fighting. Is it a male? Yeah, I think male, I think it's always male. Next it, yeah, I have two Pokemon weak, three Pokemon weak to fighting. Um, let's go Loco. I mean, I could fly, but there's a chance that I miss. Oh, I should've just flied. He's gonna S-toss. That's fine. Let's go for the, uh, the water pulse here. And Loco out here, do, that did zero, okay. Jeez, Loco, I need you to do a little bit more than that, buddy. Hit a confusion. There it is, the Lucky Duckies for Loco. Let's go. And he hits himself. Oh, it's so nice to be able to have a usable Loco right now. After all this time, Loco has come to play. Level 27. Oh, I should do hard skills on Loco. And Zippo's learning Dragon Rage, let's get it. Let's get it. I think it's finally time I get rid of Home Claws. Dragon Rage, this is probably an appropriate level for Dragon Rage too, like, not too early, not too late. I'm a little scared of this sock, I'm not gonna lie. Double kick. I think we're okay. I feel like I'm risking it if I stay in, so I'm gonna go Zippo and play this safe. Because fighting types, like I said, are kinda tough for me. He counters! I would've been fine. 
I'm gonna nostril flare because I don't want to risk this. This still probably one shots anyway though. Oh, it doesn't, and he low sweeps me. Yeah, Sock is a strong Pokemon. We should be fine with another nostril flare being priority, and we now got the Sock, so we're good. We're chilling. A little scary though. I do not do well against those types. Cross, cross chop. Yo, but it's an 80 base power. Like, it's kind of hard to justify an 80 base power move, or an 80, um... First of all, let me also say that this thing could have had Drill Peg, Night Slash, Cross Chop, and I feel like if it had a high crit move, it would be busted. 80 base, like, 80 accuracy is too risky, man. I can't do that. It's so good, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I feel like I'm gonna regret it if I take that move. I really do. So we can use a Mining Kit here, but I, I wonder if it's a one-time use. Let's do the Mining. I, I love, this is like, throwback to... You know, Diamond and Pearl, obviously. All right, so we found something here. I'm gonna mess it up, though. It looks like it's uh, one of those stones that you use for weather. For hail, I think. Oh, and there's the shard right there. So I can use it to get an egg, too. Because the lady did say that she wanted the shard. So, I wonder if the mining kit is one-time use. I feel like it would make sense that it was one-time use. I found the two things. Is that it? Wait, it said there was two things in the wall. Why am I still able to go? Oh, I didn't actually get the thing. I missed I missed the corner of it. That's kind of dumb. I'm an idiot. Don't mind me. Yeah, so if you use the mining kit, you only get it one time. That makes sense. Okay. So there's four things in the wall here. Since I already I just threw. Alright, so I found an iron plate, which boosts the power of steel type moves. And a shard and a revive. So... That's it for my mining kits though, but I feel like um, using the mining kit could actually be kind of clutch. Oh, there's a cave here too, we can go further. Have you come to explore the rest of Eco Drop Cave? I suppose I have. I suppose I have, and that involves me fighting some fighting dudes. He's got a Riolu level 22. Again, the biggest thing here is we just worry about counter. So if I just water pulse everything, we should be fine. And that does a lot. Force Palm has a chance to para. Doesn't get it, faint, the priority move should do nothing. I gotta give Loco an item. Um, picking up that iron plate was kind of nice. It's just hard to justify putting in two thousand dollars every time to do the mining When like you're not really guaranteed to get something that's gonna be useful But we might it might mess around with it a little bit more. I don't know. It depends I'll see if I can find any more mining kits in this mine found TM 28 dig But I think that until I get strength I really can't go any further here a power anklet for EV training interesting um, And it looks like I obviously can get an encounter here as well um, so I'll poke around and see what I can find. And I've officially found Intimidate Mawile, but I think with the addition of Swagnemite, I'm less interested in a Steel-type. Probably should still consider it, but I'll poke around and see if there's anything else. Ooh, a Tyrogue! That means I could get any of them, but again, I, I don't really need a Fighting-type, so <laughs> that doesn't really do it for me. There's a Sableye! Hidden Ability? Dude, I want Hidden Ability Sableye so bad! I really do. I feel like if I can get a hidden ability stable, I would take it. All right, I'm just gonna take the Intimidate Mawile. I feel like I'm gonna be looking forever, so I'll snag this guy. Hey, I caught it. This is gonna be Tooth Fairy. And well, again, it's not nearly as good without a Mega. Steel and Fairy is still super strong, and Intimidate's also just a really good ability, so we'll go with it. So sadly, the best move I can get with the hard scale for Loco is Mega Drain, which is still better than Absorb. So I'm gonna take it for now, and we'll just have to rock with that. Okay, so I think this is the location for us to... Oh, there's our rival. Hey, how funny that we both went two different ways and met up at the same spot. I was just getting finished with my first badge. It wasn't as challenging as I thought it would be. You're getting your second, right? Howlet will probably use a stronger team against you then, since he'll know you have more battling experience. I'm just about to head to Amberfield Town, but I'll stick around in case you need some moral support. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, these are fighting... Are we about to take on fighting types? If this is fighting types, I actually may need to like reconsider my strategy. I'm gonna be real. Let's just see what happens, I guess. Welcome to the Eager Rock Temple. This is where Howlet and local trainers spend their time training. You have to watch your step if you plan to make your way to Howlet. It looks like this might be fighting. I came from the dojo to train with the Eld. I'm actually very nervous. If this is fighting types, guys, like I'm in a lot of trouble. He's got a Mankey level 23, so we're okay so far. And obviously, Loco is solid, but I have like a very bad team against fighting types. Like, if that, I, I should have taken the Sableye is really what I should have done. Um, I don't know what I would even do if it's fighting types. A Makuhita, that's fine. We're, we're okay against these Pokemon. Like, these aren't that big of a deal because they're low level. But when this is, 
Ouch, there goes my Cobra Berry. Uh, we'll Mega Drain. When this is like Hariyama plus, you know, Machamp, it's not gonna be quite as easy. Um, and a Metatite. That I can deal with as well. I'll Mega Drain for health, that way I can always live one. Loco's gonna be so good. This is such a good mod. And what are you gonna do? High Jump Kick is scary, dude. But we can heal off a lot of stuff. He's gonna faint, which is fine. All right, we'll get through this guy. I, I gotta see if the next guy has fighting types too. Cause I may need to leave and like go change the team that I'm bringing. Cause I, like I said, my team is very weak to fighting. Okay, so this guy has a Venonat. So maybe it's not fighting and maybe it's like, um, like ninja types. Like this guy's a little ninja dude. So I don't know what that means. Oh, I'm about to take a signal beam, but I'm, I'm so high levels. We're fine. Um, no confusion. Yeah, we're good. Uh, so we know that in here it's try attack as well, so that's good to know. I'm like kind of nervous. Like we have some really cool things, right? Like Swagnamite is very strong. We have some really good things going for us, but at the same time, that, that doesn't mean like we're in a good spot, right? So like poison types are kind of tricky too. What is Nostro Flare? Like that makes me feel like I need to bring Reptar back, right? Like that's kind of the thought here is maybe Reptar comes back to the team for this. Just because he's a poison type and he resists fighting, like that was actually a really big deal on our team. And a Zangoose. Dog, that's actually scary. Uh, but Nexus should be fine. He could have a fighting type move. He goes for slash, but we resist. Well, that did a lot. Um, let's go for low sweep. Yeah, he just slashes, we're fine. Um, I guess we'll just keep seeing what's happening here in the gym. I don't know, until, until I see some definitive answers, I'm just gonna press forward for now. I've come to study the teachings of Howlet. So I think the theme is not one particular type, but rather this idea of like all these different types and how this guy is like a master of different things. I, I don't know, that's kind of what I'm gathering here because I'm facing all sorts of stuff, but I think this is the last trainer before the actual gym. Um, it's just a little bit of a puzzle, but I think I think if I beat this this trainer here, we should be in good shape and I'm just gonna wing it, man. I'm gonna leave with swag to my, I'm gonna set up a toxic spike and I'm gonna hope for the best. That's base. Oh, that's a scary Pokemon. Um, we have Nala though. We have Nala. We have Nala. I feel like level wise, I'm in good shape too, because I feel like there's gonna be a, a level spike as well. Um, I would. I'm gonna guess that we're gonna see a little bit higher levels. There's a double team. Hopefully, I don't miss, because that's gonna be annoying. I do miss. Nala, buckle down. Hit a spark here. All right. I'm at the mer. Ooh, that's a crit. Okay, good stuff. This should just one shot anyway. And it does. Okay. Sweet, all right, let me make sure everyone's healed up. I got items on everybody, so we should be good to go. And we're gonna just wing it. Oh, he's got a loud dude. I thought, I thought that was it, just kidding. Uh, Captain Jack should be able to one shot with a fighting move. He's got bite. Captain Jack is so good, dude. So good right now. I love it. And we're gonna go for the low sweep. Should one shot. I don't have to worry about uproars anymore. Like they were so scary at one point, those uproaring whismers. But Explorer Kirk goes down. Okay, let me figure out this puzzle. Let me heal everybody up and then we're good to go. Okay, this is him. Swagnamite's got my lead. I'm very nervous. <laughs> Hello, trainer. My name is Howlett. I've lived in Eco Rock Town my entire life and I've been fortunate enough to serve as their elder. As an elder, we are supposed to keep our town safe while also contributing to the overall well being of Ego. All elders of Ego are expert trainers. If you're here, you must be seeking out the Ren badge. You're going to have to earn it. All right, here we go. Our second badge. Ego Elder Howlet has four Pokemon. He looks like uh, Wolverine and he's got a Zangoose lead. So that's actually fine. Um, I'm gonna just click Toxic Spikes and hope this thing does not have a fighting move and destroy my soul. I'm dead. Okay, your boy Swagnamite is here, grass and steel. Oh, well, there goes that. There goes our first casualty on the playthrough. Okay, 
Um, that's very unfortunate. Now I have to make a tough decision. I think Nexus one shots, but Zangus is faster. Captain Jack is probably faster. I just am not sure if it one shots with slow sweep. Cause I'm gonna have to take a revenge either way and it's super effective against both. Um, I think I gotta go Cap. Uh, no, I think you go Zangu. Uh, I think you go Nexus. Oh, that's actually really bad. All right, we're gonna low sweep. I'm faster. I, I have no idea why I'm faster. I will. T He's Chobbleberry, but I still one shot him through the Chobbleberry. I almost just got so wrecked. Wow. Here's a Weavile, which gets poisoned. Uh, I think I just one shot though. What does he do to me? Nothing. I straight dodged it with Nexus. Let's go! And he's got a focus sash with the toxic spikes from Swagnamite, the fallen Swagnamite. <laughs> Gonna wear his sunglasses to the grave. He pickpockets my Hearthstone though. Tell me how this is already like a super intense battle. I just lost him on. I'm actually kind of sad. Okay, what else you got? A Pawniard. Yo, Nexus is actually busted against this gym. Actually busted against this gym. Wow. And a Scyther. Bro, Nexus is so busted against this gym. Forget it. I win. Um, I, I, listen, I lose a Pokemon. I don't know if there was much I could have done about it. Um, you know, I feel like, does this thing evolve at, what level does Magnemite evolve, by the way? Does it evolve at 28? Magnemite evolves at level, th at level 30. Okay, it is what it is. It's devastating, but it is what it is. I beat him. Oh, it is supposed to be Wolverine. He said, nice battle, bub. It's supposed to be based on Wolverine. And I, I should have evolved this thing too. I, I don't know my levels that well. I don't think it matters. Ah, that's a little sad though. He was tough, I just happen to have Nexus, so it kinda is what it is. I get the Ren Badge, now I can use Cut Outside of Battle. And small trees get in the way. And now we gotta go take on that. And we get the TM99 Cut. Hopefully it's better in this game. And let's take a look at Cut. Ah, uh, dude, I can't believe I just lost Swagnamite. That's sad times. All right, Cut is, is it just a regular normal move? I think it probably is. Captain Jack and Zippo can learn it. I guess I'll see what if, is this a normal move? 60 base power, that's really bad. All right, well, unfortunately Captain Jack is gonna be our, our Cut Pokemon. That's actually such sad times, dude. Ah, oh, man, what are you gonna do? Ugh. I legit just added that thing to my team too. How do you get out of here? Oh. All right, well, there's a lot for us to go back and do with Cut. And this is the first thing, there's a TM here. It's almost like this is the actual TM you're supposed to get. Psych up, that's really annoying. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do now, now that we have Cut, is I'm actually gonna go do some backtracking. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna go to Sea uh, Ridge Town, because I know that Sea Ridge Town um, happens to have a location for cut that's important. Um, and in the meantime, I am going to make a swap back in our PC and say goodbye to our first fallen member. I gotta take his item. Um, Swagnamite. Dude, that's so sad. It's such sad times. It is really such sad times. It's such sad times. Okay, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say goodbye to Swagnamite and I'm gonna put you here. And I'm gonna grab, uh, for now, just temporarily, just grabbing Lucky, because Lucky was here to trade. There's that shell that we wanna go trade for. Um, and let me look around Sea Ridge, and then I'm gonna, like guys, like I said, just kinda backtrack around the map, find spots that I can cut that maybe I couldn't cut before, and figure out what's next for me. And we get a Miracle Seed, which boosts the power of Grass-type moves. We obviously still get an encounter here, too. I guess I'll probably snag that at some point. Um, but let me give the Miracle Seed to Loco. Uh, take away his Kobe Berry, that works for me. And an Astral Stone, and that is the stone we've been looking for to evolve Reptar once and for all. There's a Trubbish. <laughs> but we can evolve Reptar, and that's what we were really aiming to do. Um, so I'm gonna do that at some point in the very near future. I'm gonna just peek around here. I still get an encounter here. I may save it for surfing, though. Because I just, I don't know, I'm not convinced I'm gonna find anything good right now. So I just hooked up this Eevee with a Michael Berry. And she said she's gonna give me something. Oh, I get an egg. I don't have space for an egg. Okay, so I gotta get that egg. Uh, I'm just kind of wandering around right now. Oh, we can get Ultra Balls now, that's cool. 
I'll grab a few of those. Um, I guess I should clear some space for the egg too. Um, let me go do that. I feel like I, there's some different stuff here, but let me go um, find this this trader to trade for the the uh, the shelter, and then I will go get the egg. I think. Oh, it's this guy right here. He's got the grumpy shelter. This is the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been looking for the grumpy shelter. All right, give me your grumpy shelter, bro. Bloomberg sends sends shelter. Oh, Ripjaw. That is not the kind of shelter I thought I was gonna get. What do I do with this thing? That's the tail of uh, water steel with iron barbs. This thing might actually be busted. Hold on. This thing might actually be busted. Water steel with iron barbs. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. Okay, I'm gonna box this thing because I want to get the egg and I feel like a lot of things are happening. Oh, I get to evolve. Oh my god, we gotta evolve him too. There's so much to do right now. Let me, let me evolve. Ah, dude, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta evolve um, Reptar as well. So let me do that too. Lot to do right now. Let's, uh, I might actually use Ripjaw. That's kind of sick, dude. Water Steel is a really good typing. Um, let's use our Astral Stone on Reptar. And we get to get this new form. Now, I do remember this new form from my first playthrough, but we're pretty much, we're pretty darn close to caught up to where I was the last time. And honestly, I haven't really remembered a lot of stuff anyway. And that is Nito Rook, dude. Yo, this thing is crazy. This thing is crazy. Nito Rook, what? We still have robbery. Way to change. It changed to a female, and now it has Merciless. Attacks will be critical if the target is poisoned. Bro, I can use Poisoning and Venice Shock with this and Toxic Spikes. This thing might actually be stupid busted. It just changed to a female. I don't know what to tell you about that. I am going to grab the egg. I'm also gonna box somebody for now. I don't know who to box. I'm gonna box, um, I'm gonna just temporarily box Loco. Not because not of anything bad against Loco, like Loco will come back. Um, because I want to check the heart skill dude too. So I've got a lot of little errands to run, but let me go grab that egg first. Giveth me the egg. So I got an egg. I don't know what, what we're going to get out of it, but I got an egg. Oh wow, it's an interesting- is it an Eevee? Am I going to get an Eevee out of it? Because I could totally go for an Eevee. So I'm on like the first ride of the game and I just used Cut to explore a little bit. And I ran into this little dude. See if he's any good. He's got a skip loom. Oh wow, so he's pretty strong. Um, not that I'm concerned but it makes me feel like I should definitely be prepared when kind of looking around. He's just gonna annoyingly leech seed me. Of course, um, I should just be able to one-shot it here though with another nostril flare. I may have to switch out though, but I probably should've just dragon range. That's all right, we knock him out and then let's see what other Pokemon he has. I'm gonna explore this area here and then I think that's probably it for this one because we've, we've been recording for a while. Eradicate, level 30 Eradicate, that's actually a problem. Uh, no, not anymore actually, I have Nexus now. I keep forgetting that I have like this monster Nexus. Who does not care about you? The perfect Raticates counter. Low sweep. Sweep him with your giant rock tail hammer thing. Yeah, buddy. Goodbye, Raticate. And this is good too, because uh, we're getting some XP. What are you learning? Incinerate. Burns up berries, 60 base power. Probably get rid of flame wheel. I mean, I guess burning up berries is good. A lot of Pokemon like to run berries in this game. And Apache. Pachi is about to get absolutely low sweep to oblivion here. And I'm curious what's in this kid's secret hideout place up here. But we'll knock out the Pachi Risu. Easy peasy. All right, let's see what we got up here, up ahead in their secret hideout place. Oh, there's a TM. And it's Grass Knot, yo, that's big. <gasps> what's happening right there? Hold up. Clefairy are dancing around a moonstone? There's a cave around here called Moon Ripple Cave. A mythical Pokemon rest there? Just random Clefairies dancing around a Moonstone? That's so sick! I mean, I don't need them, but that's actually so cool. This game is so cool, guys. Like, the different encounters you get based on if you're playing at day or at nighttime. Like, that's such a sick thing. That's actually really cool. Oh, I found the cave! Oh, it's Pebble Dust. It's just a different part of Pebble Dust. Rock incense though. Wait, why am I in this totally different part of Pebble Dust now? TM31 Brick Break, that's actually kind of clutch. 
Oh, I know where I am now. I remember coming over here. Okay, I actually, I remember where I'm at now. Okay, so I think there's still a ton for us to explore, but we're gonna save that for the next episode. So be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And don't forget, early access members get episodes early, so become a member of adrivelive.com. Free members have a chance to win a Nintendo Switch and a copy of Legends Arceus. Let me know what Pokemon form you'd like to see most as our question of the day. And that's it for me, guys. What an epic episode. Unfortunately, our first casualty. Rest in peace, Swagnamite. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.